life of purpose and the courage to help others. I just hope that this is helping them and giving them hope. The Tri-State loses a hero, but her legacy lives on. I don't know if you can put Lauren into words. She almost created her own adjective. I'm here not for me, I'm here for everybody else. Today, Lauren Hill will be remembered as a fighter. Nine on your side at five starts now. She inspired us all to strive for greatness. At just 19, Lauren started a crusade against pediatric brain cancer. Today, we all begin to say goodbye. The other day, we all got to go see her. The team went in to see her yesterday. Uh, might be one of the toughest moments of my coaching career ever. But the fight goes on. Today, the Tri-State rallies for Lauren, the way she rallied to find a cure for DIPG in her final days. It seems like every second there is another tweet, post, or message out there in honor of Lauren's legacy. We've been following Lauren's story since last year, of course. She was determined to play in a college basketball game despite her illness. We begin tonight with a reminder of how Lauren inspired us all. What can you say about a 19-year-old girl who died too soon? You can say she loved basketball. You can say she loved her family and that the entire tri-state grew to love her. And you can say that Lauren Hill was determined to make every minute of her life count. We need to do something because there's families out there that are losing their children. Like little kids that don't even get to live their life. And that was Lauren turning her diagnosis with a brain cancer called DIPG into a mission to help others, dedicating herself to raising money for The Cure Starts Now. Everybody got into the act, doing a layup for Lauren. It was fun, but Lauren never lost sight of her mission. We're all put here for a reason, and we're all, like God puts us here. Some of us are teachers, and some of us are here to learn. And I think that I've been chosen as one of the teachers. While her health visibly deteriorated, her determination helped raise more than $1.5 million for DIPG research. That determination drove her to tell her story on The View last month. When the satellite interview ended, she was clearly exhausted. And for a few minutes, Lauren let down her brave front and poured her heart out. I could have been every night thinking to myself, what am I here for? What am I here for? What am I here for? And you're supposed to make the best of every moment. But it's hard. It's really, really hard, especially watching your family struggle. For Lauren, the struggle is over now, but we will remember her the way she wanted to be remembered. She was a hero and she said in cancer he was boss. Lauren Hill, the 19-year-old who taught us how to live. The Hill family saying in a statement today, we can't thank everyone enough for their sentiments and kind words. Lauren truly moved a nation. And we will be forever grateful to everyone for helping her achieve her dreams. We ask for you to respect our privacy as our family makes our next plans. There's so many times today that it just brings tears to my eyes. Yeah. To think about. It, it's just, you know, it's just so amazing what she accomplished and how she mm -hmm. touched us all so much that she just kept going and going and going. No, going. she really we did. Have a lot to get to tonight, <laughs> Lauren. That's right. Hang in there, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Lauren once said she didn't want people to say she lost her battle with cancer. She won in so many ways. And she wanted people not to mourn, but to act. That is why we are making today a day of kindness. It's a trend growing nationwide. People as far away as Tampa and Denver doing things in Lauren's honor. Kind things. And later this half hour, you're going to see that hashtag in action.